Hey guys, Gary Dean here, DetailJuice.com. Uh, about a month ago, I was in Delaware and I did a collaboration with another YouTuber, uh, my buddy Glenn. He has the OzStar channel on YouTube. It's OzStar1 on Instagram. I'm gonna go ahead, after this little clip, I'm gonna leave you all his information in a, a little snippet before we get to the actual interview. But this was an interview that he did with me talking about not only just general frequently asked questions that people ask about detailing and the processes and that kind of thing, but we also talk a lot about the one system from detailjuice.com, um, a very simplistic system that gets you exactly where you need to be with very little effort. Uh, you still gotta work at it, you still gotta make it happen, but the products are simplified and they're very, very powerful. Uh, the whole system, has incredible value, uh, not only to your time, your life, uh, but just detailing in general. Um, Glenn is a fantastic guy. Uh, he has an automotive mechanical type channel, and uh, please check his channel out, um, you know, and that kind of thing. Check him out on Instagram, uh, it, check him out on Facebook. Great guy, lots of information over there, but it's a different dynamic. Uh, you know, I do detailing, he does mechanics, uh, both automotive related. Uh, and I just wanna thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. And if you've got questions for me or for Glenn, uh, reach out to us directly. Uh, and here you go with not only the interview he did with me, uh, but also I'm gonna put all his information here in this clip and I'll put it in the description. If you got questions, like I said, reach out or leave them in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching these videos and uh, enjoy. All right, Gary, so we're, uh, we're taking a little break, right? Well, it's, it's 11 o'clock at yeah, night. We got a couple of vehicles. To, is, it, is it after 11? I'm trying to look at the clock over here. No, it's 1045 but, actually. But anyway, um, the point cheers, of this. Cheers, by the way. That's yeah, just cheers, you, Matt. Cheers. cheers. We deserve it's this. It's about it's, damn time we had something to drink. It's been a, uh, it's been a long <laughs> He's day. He's a slave driver. He's been working me hard. That's right. Man, I got to get my money's worth. <laughs> but right. <laughs> but uh, anyhow, what I thought I'd do is ask Gary here. Um, in case you know we show this video separate from the other video, this is Gary Dean from Gary Dean's Detailing. I'm Glenn with the Ozstar well, Channel. Well, more like DetailJuice.com. Gary Dean Detailing. It's not a thing of the past because I still pursue some detailing. I don't detail full time anymore. I just don't have time with the product line. But DetailJuice.com is kind of like all that I do. It's the nation. It's the Gary Dean Detail Nation, right? Detail Juice Nation. Detail yeah. Juice Nation, which is how many of those up. have you had so, so far? I, 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 don't, I don't drink and tell. <laughs> the the uh, the car behind us is pretty much done. I'd say it's about ninety nine point nine. Oh yeah, it just needs a final yeah. wipe. But I don't do the final wipe until we can get it in the sun and see exactly what's up. Make sure there's no streaks, no smudges, nothing. Uh, we did apply the full one system from DetailJuice.com. We also added a compounding step to remove a lot of the scratches. Perfection isn't reality. I don't believe that you can ever truly that's, make it 100%. And plus, that's, that's if you're going to use it, it's not worth that. Yeah, I mean, that's part of this interview here. I want to give the enthusiasts maybe a little bit more insight um, if they have questions about detailing. Like anything, it's more complicated than it looks. You know, it might seem simple but it is a simple process but there's a process to do it correctly and i'm going to ask you gary you know people see scratches or swirls people that really care about their cars you know i, I always tell friends and a lot of friends have come to me and like i know something right and say hey how do i get my car to look nice like your car and i get a car show hey how do you do that what's your secret of course i tell them i use gary dean's products but um and that's not a paid paid sponsorship but my point is, uh, a lot of them, I tell them, look, if you get into polishing your car, you're going to have scratches that are not going to come out or you can't just can't get them all and not to go mental because you can go crazy with this stuff. So what are your thoughts about that? I think you just brought that up. What is, what do you think? I mean, where's the line? Is it where you're just, you're satisfied yourself or you're trying to satisfy the car show judge or 
Where do you go with that? There's so, I mean, it's a, it, that's an amazing question and we have a list of amazing questions, but that's really important because there's so many variables. And when I say that, every single car is different. Now, Corvettes are known for hard clear coat. Right, it is rock hard. Everyone I've ever, I've owned a couple of my own. Mm -hmm. um, every single Corvette that came from the factory at any given time is always hard as a rock. If you don't have a Corvette, maybe you have a Porsche. Porsches are typically soft. Ferraris, typically soft. If you've got a Chevy, a Ford, a, a Chrysler, you know, a domestic car, they're usually middle of the road. I mean, some are on the harder side, but most of them... So it's going to take more time or more effort to get it where you want it. Not yeah, so if, if the paint is harder, it's going to be harder to cut the scratches out. But mm -hmm. if the paint is softer, it's going to be harder to get the finishing work done. Right. Does that make sense? So you can yeah. cut more, but, but you finish more difficult... You know, it's a it's a more difficult level. Absolutely. For people that don't know, basically what you're seeing most likely are scratches in the clear coat. Now, if you have a super deep scratch where the trick is you take your fingernail, you gently run it over the scratch, what you think, it's a scratch, whether it's in the clear coat or hopefully not down to the primer where your paint's gone already. But if your fingernail catches that scratch, it's pretty deep. And, and, it's, and it's, it's not worth trying to go to it. So, it's worth polishing over to remove those jagged edges that look white, okay? Right. So when a scratch happens, if you look at it in the microscope, mm -hmm. which um, I should probably do that for people in a video uh, soon, I have a pretty awesome USB microscope that I could show oh, some cool stuff. Cool. Um, but when a scratch happens, it leaves a very jagged edge and there's also a chalkiness to the inside. Mm -hmm. That's that clear coat that's flaked away, basically. Right. So. All it would, would take to smooth that out and make it far less noticeable is just a quick pass with a polisher. That's gonna smooth out those jagged edges and instead of it being a V and really jagged, it's right. gonna round those edges out so it, it's more of a, a dip smooth. than a real bad right. scratch. And anything that's smooth is gonna look glossier. It's gonna, it's gonna be smoother, it's yep. gonna be shinier. Uh, well, the a gloss rock comes rock. back off yeah. that white. You know, when it, like I said, it's a chalky white. So once you smooth it out, it's gonna be crystal clear again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. Um, I mean, what are some other things? You get a lot of comments, questions on your, not just your website, your Facebook, you've got Instagram, you've got it all going on there, social media. Um, what are some of the, like what's the most common question an enthusiast would ask? Not, not a professional because, I mean, professionals considered professional, they should pretty much know what they're doing. They don't. <laughs> right, yeah, like most professionals. Most professionals, it's just you have a tag on your shoulder or and a piece of paper. The right. detailing industry is completely unregulated. I mean, there's organizations that are trying to regulate it. They're worthless as well, in my opinion. <laughs> I, I don't, I've never in my 20 plus year career ever been asked for a certificate of anything. Right. And, you know, personally, I believe that uh, life experience is worth more. F and far more experience than, than a piece of paper. Uh, so, absolutely, and that's in any career. I mean, But detailing wise, I get asked all the time, people think they know what a clay bar does, but, but they don't. The, the problem is they think that it's going to polish the paint. I mean, that's the most common answer. Oh, I need to, are you gonna clay my car? Like it's so important to them, <laughs> they clay it. Now a clay bar is very important to the detailing process. In fact, it almost, is, is a step that you can't yeah. skip. For those that don't know, there's contamination could be in your clear coat. And you, if you leave that, with, let's just assume they're like rocks. You know, all these little rocks. For example, there, right? if you're driving this car down the street and your brake dust goes crazy, mm -hmm. like it generally does on a nice fast sports car, or even a lot of your, your uh, European cars, yeah. BMW, yeah. Mercedes, the brake dust happens. So the brake dust sure. is, is large chunks in there. and it's flying everywhere and it stabs your clear coat. It stays, it in, the stays clear coat. in there. And if you don't remove that stuff before you polish, you can catch a, a large hard particle in the polisher, creating pigtails. You're just grinding, you're grinding you're, into the clear. You're, you're making more damage. Yeah. You're not going forward at that point. And, and that's something people don't understand. A lot of times, friends of mine or, or people that I just know in general, through my YouTube channel, might ask me a question. I've done a couple of uh, minor detail videos, we'll call them detailing videos, and you know they may not know that or they they have never heard of clay barn. I mean, like, so what clear, is that? To clear they, the air, because yeah, because a lot of people think cleaning your car is old school. You know, wash it, 
With Wash it and wax it. Dawn, you're with done. Dawn, Dawn detergent, yeah. which you never want to use dishwasher detergent unless you want to remove everything off the car. And it's not going to hurt. And, That's another popular and, misconception. Dawn is not going to hurt your car. The The problem with Dawn is it is a heavy duty degreaser. So with repeated use, eventually, yeah, years, you protection. you'll start, well, they won't, your yeah. seals and stuff will yeah. start to deteriorate and dry right. out. That's the problem. Yeah, but yeah, and it also will strip off any wax and sealant that's on there. Right. The, there's no detergent yeah. out there that I've found that's going to strip yeah. this. And, and, and as an enthusiast, an enthusiast, which you know, I'm an advanced enthusiast, but you may be an enthusiast yourself, you know, you wash it and then you get a coat of, let's say, turtle wax and you just throw it on and does it look nice and shiny? Sure, yeah. sure. How long will it last? I mean, not um, long. You know, they're exactly because. And I, I'm not just saying that because you know I have my own product line, but the bottom line is there's a considerable difference between the stuff you can get from me and the stuff you can get from Walmart. Not because yeah. I'm telling you that, but getting professional. Seriously, yeah. um, the performance is different. But back to the clay bar, real quick, just so that I can say and just tell you because that's what you're you looking can't for let now. The clay bar go. The clay bar is important because it removes the contaminants that are bonded to the paint that don't come off in the wash. So it's taken off those big brake dust trunk chunks, industrial fallout, just the bad stuff that won't come off easily, the clay bar takes it off. When you use something that removes ferrous metal par particles like you know, there's other products out there that change color. Oh, when you there's a lot of products, yeah. Anyway, that's, yeah. A, that's a magical gimmick in my opinion. It really is. But the clay bar, too, right? the cl oh, very. Yeah. The clay bar removes the contaminants that don't come off in the wash. Um, it, it does not polish in any way. It doesn't do anything but make the paint smooth. But what it does do, because just inherently, if you're removing a lot of heavy contamination, especially in a, a densely populated area where the contamination is heavy, in that area when you remove those contaminants, you will get more reflections. The light can hit the paint better without yeah. hitting the contaminants and throwing it off. It so you'll have better reflectivity yeah. and slickness and all that stuff, but beyond that, uh, removing those contaminants helps any protective product to bond better because you're not, and you're not sealing that stuff in. So you want to remove that. And uh, just to let you know, Clay in your car, I would say two to three times a year is a solid amount of time. Even if you did it twice a year, every six mm -hmm. months. If you put a coating on your car. It depends on how much you're driving it. Is it parked in a garage sure. under cover? Yeah, you know, twice a year, yeah. even once a year. Like, yeah. if you're not using it a, a lot, once a year is, is fine. Oh, we're using this. We use this. We use all the cords right. around here. But <laughs> also, um, yeah, no garage with, clean with the coating that I put on there, it's harder than your factory clear right. when it's cured. So these contaminants can't attack you that's as easily. That's so the that's yep. the cool thing yep. there. Yeah, another thing that um, I tell a lot of my friends who are, you know, they're getting into this. They've got a DA, DA polisher. And by the way, I'm, I'm not sponsored by Harbor Freight, neither is Gary, as far as I know. Um, nope. That polisher, that DA polisher, I personally own a Porter Cable uh, polisher, but the Harbor Freight polisher for $60, I think it goes for with your coupon. I think the Everybody regular price is $69.99. This thing does work fantastic. And if you want to get into it, it just shows you that you don't have to spend a lot on equipment to do it right. Um, but just keep in mind the backing plate that the polisher comes with is garbage. The pads you can buy at Harbor Freight are also garbage. Yeah. And I'm not just telling you that. I'm a pro detailer. I'm telling you straight up um, the stuff that I, I only sell on my site things I use myself. Yeah, so quality, if I don't use it as stuff a pro, that's going to last. And well, your money beyond good. that, you don't need all that fancy equipment. That's another crazy popular yeah. misconception. Right. I get people asking me all the time, should I buy this? Should I buy that? No. I've got a very short list of, of things mm -hmm. when people come to me and they want to start a business, they want to do that to make money. And that's yeah. what I do is train them to be business people. But as far as the equipment you need, you need very little sure, to be you very can get successful. Into it, you can get and, into it with Minimal startup. Let's put it that down. thing's fifty. That Harbor Freight DA is fifty bucks after 50. the discount. I'm, I'm looking at sixty. Boy, you're getting a discount. Well, you I must you, have you the twenty five percent where, off coupon. You, you, I only get you the twenty. You can Google it right now and get a twenty twenty five percent off coupon. You're an honest guy. We'll take your word for it. But uh, we're not going to fight over ten bucks. Anyway, sure. You owe me ten bucks. Anyway. <laughs> anyhow, now, so now here, I'm doing your cars all day. You know, on that point, my whole life growing up, and it's not just cars. It's anything you do in life or a tool that you want to buy or um, it may be a 
Maybe you're painting your bedroom. You get, you usually are going to get what you pay for. Even about hiring a professional, whether they're doing something to your house, working on your car, polishing your car, anything, you're usually going to get what you pay for. So if you want the cheapo uh, product, you want the cheapo labor, you're probably going to get cheapo. Not all the time. Um, there well, are that Harbor guys Freight out there. is absolutely the exception but of the rule. That works very good. There are companies out there that sell five hundred dollar polishers. I don't. I have owned them all, mm -hmm. and I go back to that it's, thing it works every terrific. time. I was <laughs> There's able evidence to, right here. I cut <laughs> scratches out of this car that shouldn't be coming out so, with that thing. So you, know, you, you get what you pay for, and like your products, people say, "Well, why is that small bottle, you know, fifty dollars or whatever it is." But with you know, the Gary's products, you're, they're all concentrated, so... I don't believe you, in dripping water, I'm you, not into it. Right, and you're, I, you're taking a small bottle and, you know, I, I, it depends on the product, but you could take a, a couple of ounces, let's say of the detail juice one there, and you can make a gallon of detail spray. Two ounces so makes a whole you go, gallon. You, yeah, you go to Walmart and buy the name brand guy's spray, and what are you paying, eight bucks for a bottle of that? You know, and how much are you getting out of it? It's gone. You're getting so, that 16 ounces that it comes in. That's I mean, it, that's it. That's it, and that may not get you through what you need, or? Well, just an know. eight ounce bottle of Infinite Use Detail Juice so, One is uh, 40 bucks on my yeah. side. That ships for free, by the way, just say it. <laughs> um, so it's all included. Oh, good, get free shipping, is that just me? <laughs> free shipping, well, well the site ships for free over 50, 50 bucks. So, uh, so I thought I was gonna feel special. But when's the last time that you had to worry about shipping anyway? Um, but that's what I'm getting at is 40 bucks, you you get eight ounces for 40 bucks and if you're making a detail spray out of it or a clay bar lubricant or whatever, or you know, just a light spray, spray wax, that's two ounces per gallon, you're going to make four gallons but, out of it. That's $10 a gallon it's, you're paying. It's, it, the price is extremely reasonable when you break it down and you think about you can do your wife's car make her happy or right? girlfriend what have you but it, it the point is not only is it very reasonably priced it seems big up front but when you break it down it's not but here's the kicker you're getting the quality like i said you usually get what you pay for i don't and you're I don't, getting that i don't compromise on that. quality for so, anybody i don't cut corners if it if if I have to sacrifice quality, I'd rather not do it. I mean, Gary B, my name will not be on it if I have to. I, I'm just not going to do it. And we've been hanging out a couple of days here. Uh, you're you're a terrific guy. I mean, I don't want you. To ah, your ego. thanks. I know you're down here. You don't know me that well. This tall and your ego's <laughs> up here, but that's not hard to do for you. It is but, what it is, yeah, vertically challenged. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a whole sure. other story, but for sure. But you know, um, you're an honest guy and. I've been using Gary's products, and this is how we know each other. I mean, I'm a customer of his five, six years ago. I, time flies. It could be longer. I, I don't know. It's been time a while. Goes, time sure. goes by. But, um, so we've been internet we, friends That's for how we know each time. other. We're both YouTubers, and here we are with you YouTubers. So I met this guy cool. yesterday. Cool. I flew yeah. in town. He put He's, me up at his house. We're in Delaware. We're hanging out. Gary, doing awesome stuff. Right. Gary's from Tampa, Florida. We're here in Delaware today, so we're having fun. We've got more work to do tomorrow. It's not over. It's... It's not all like drinking. I like to try to find whiskey. ways to make money when yeah. I go out of town. <laughs> I, I get the guy Captain Captain, Captain, That's I mean, right. You know, shit, top shelf stuff around here. Can't but, be drinking that. But, yeah, I can't, man. Gut, what am man. I drinking here? Let's see. This is the. Oh, this is good. This is the number three Evo. A little plug for them. I need my race ramps. Uh, that's right. You like that? See. The, uh, I don't know if the camera can see it, the best way to get it up. That's right, so, so keep raise your hands, send these guys some free keep, shit. <laughs> keep my beer cool. But um, you know, another thing I tell my friends or enthusiasts that might ask me questions you know, about it, about detailing, I always tell them, and you know, I learned this kind of the hard way by doing it, is when you want good results and you want it done right, and you're not just doing, we were getting back to the Dawn Wash and then a Turtle Wax, if you want to do it correctly and you want it to last, you're going to have to take time to do it. I mean, Gary and I are joking about it, like, oh, you know, it's like, it's TV magic, you know, oh, here it is, like 10 minutes later, we're done. Snap you know? your fingers we, and we were here, trust me, it's, it's like he said. We've been working on this car for hour, six, hours, seven hours, hours today, it's, and it's been two and it's two us. guys, you But, know. you know, we also were having a conversation, right. we're dancing around, acting stupid well, to he's, music. he's dancing stupid, uh, whatever, I dance good, good. I dance good. But anyway, you know, there's <laughs> been a lot more to it today, we, we also detailed your truck, yeah, so... 
no big deal. It was a great day. I had yeah. a great time. And it's well worth it. But for the enthusiasts out there watching it, you're going to have to be patient. That's, that's my point with it. And do you agree with that? The patience is going to be there. You can't get this result if you're in a hurry. You it's can't get this happen. result. And, with, and, I mean, if you're impatient. And I think that's where a lot of people might lose hope, let's call it. You know, they, they buy the products and they think it's a miracle cure and they're just gonna get it done in an hour. Well, the bottom line is if you, if you don't have the patience to do it yourself, to end up getting a fantastic result, which you can do, I mean, the products, they do everything You're but freaking use themselves. Right. Like, they're so stupid easy to use that Very you'd be hard, and I'm, Again, that's what I do. That's Are you saying you're stupid and you know how to use it? Maybe, maybe I, I'm probably <laughs> saying that. But the, the products, I, I make them so easy to use. They, you know, most of them can be used in direct sunlight and the heat of summer. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I just make them very easy to use. The dilutions aren't complicated. Um, you know, that kind of thing. Oh, so that's if you, good. It's easy, but you've you got to be patient. You've got to be patient. If you have the patient. time, awesome. If you don't there. have the time to do it right, fine. Let, Call Hire me, somebody. and I can find you call somebody me. in your area. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> call Glenn; he can find you somebody, or just he'll call me, and we'll find somebody in your area. The um, yeah. So you want to be patient because you want you want good results. You're not going to get it perfect. I mean, there is no such thing as perfection in this world in anything. Nothing or nobody is perfect, even though some of us think we are. But um, that's one of my tips or hints, I Why'd guess. Why'd you look at me when you said that? Well, like, be, nobody's I, perfect. <laughs> back in, I keep asking this guy, why he's got to be a jerk to me? <laughs> I told you, it took 49 years. That's, I can't break the habit in a day. Exactly. That's just how it's going to go. But that's a, a big point for somebody who doesn't have experience at this, wants it really nice, or you, like you said, you pay somebody. Hopefully, you get a good professional who knows what they're doing. And they you got to take right. a play. They so treat the you right. The better it's going to look, the right. more it's going to cost. Right. Period. It's the time thing. It's time. What's that? Time equals money. Right? But here's time the bottom line. Um, would you like it if somebody asked you to take less money for what you do? No. Right. You right. wouldn't accept less money for your hourly wage or your salary. No. Right. So right. don't ask the detailer. If you want quality work, you got to make the guy feel or the girl feel like it's worth yeah. it to them. You know, money is a motivator. You know, and yeah. it's not the only motivation. Beer, uh, beer motivates me. Sure, but <laughs> what I'm saying is, don't expect for seven hours worth of somebody's time. Don't expect to pay a couple hundred bucks. Right. I mean, this it's not job, realistic. If, it's not realistic. If I had a retail customer, if, if this car, if Glenn was my retail customer, this job would have cost him twelve hundred bucks. Right. And, uh, but I would have sat in an easy chair and watched you work all day. Well, no, I, would, I don't allow that either. either. <laughs> You'd have to leave me alone oh, no, no. so I can get some stuff done. But um, so yeah, that's the thing. And if and a good way to make time, and this may seem like it's common sense, and you would know it, but I tell guys, you know, you it's okay to just do a section of the car at a time. Let's say you don't use the car every day; it's not your daily. And you've got to, you know, you can do the fenders. You could do the hood one day or two days, you know, knock out the front of the car, just do the back, the doors. Well, the back. only problem I have with that is you're going to have dust accumulation. You don't want to put a cover, cover on. Yeah, yeah. You don't, don't want to put it on if you don't have to. Mm -hmm. If you need a cover, that's one thing. You got to park it outside. I get it. Um, yeah, but outside could be. The different. problem with doing one piece here and one piece there is yeah. by the time you re-clean it to, to, you know, get the work done, yeah. you could be going backwards so in that too, could lose scratching some time. it up. Sure. You could lose some time. I, I don't love that. That doesn't mean you can't do it. Right. And I'm not necessarily trying to argue with you about it, but I definitely well, have my own opinion I'll on win it. anyway, so go ahead. <laughs> I'm talking about my ego, <laughs> what a jerk. <laughs> He's calling me a jerk. But um, so yeah, that's something important to consider. You could do it in sections or you could not, but yeah, if it's outside, it's going to be much more difficult to, to keep things clean and sterile. You know, before we started here today. You mean inside? Yeah, inside. You want it more, it'll be more sterile. You, you, I swept the floor out just, if, and listen, as an enthusiast. If then you, I dropped a clay bar yeah. and he said, no, oh, it's I okay, I swept the floor. I, got I said, it. no, it's no, got to no, go in the garbage. I, I got it on camera, that's what's important. <laughs> it didn't go in the garbage. But, I threw it but, right away. But the thing is, it's you're not tracking dirt around. You're not kicking up dirt and dust as you're walking. Sure. You, if you drop a rag and if you're not from I know what you mean. I was making a joke, I, but. Oh, you're funny. You, you, you got to come. He's, he's going to moonlight as a comedian. Look, the booze is kicking they, in. What do you want from me? <laughs> keep, keep 
keep drinking, buddy. I get better looking, but not your kind, uh, not your type. Uh, definitely the, not the, the um, what I was see you're trying to distract me, but what I'm if getting you at shave is, and put a wig on, or, and give me about five more of these, we might be all right. No, because <laughs> we may just end the interview really quick here. I think, I think things may wrap up soon. I don't know how long this is going to go. We're actually uh, we're washing our uh, microfibers right now. We used every single microfiber we have. And no, um, that you have because I didn't realize you had so few or I'd have brought some. Yeah, we only had like 20, 30 <clears throat> microfibers, so it, it took so it took a few, but we did do a couple of vehicles. I know what you're getting for Christmas. So <laughs> as long as they're green or yellow, yeah. That's right. I like blue though. Um so what's something else that you're thinking? It's yeah. you know, it's about time management, it's about your realistic expectation, it's about your budget. I mean the yeah. you know, and I mean budget like if you're going to save the most money, it's going to be the least expensive if you do it yourself. Because mm -hmm. the labor is what costs money. The products, yes, they can get costly. Um, for example, my whole one system, if you were to buy all of them in two ounce, which is, right. you might yeah, think it's not enough. But it, it does a lot of cost. You just did a uh, yeah, cool like this a with a two ounce kit. My friend Joe, yeah, he's got a, uh, he just got a 17 Stingray he bought used. And he did a great job though. Oh, he did a great I, I gave job. Him, I gave him shout out to Joe out there and his 17 black stingray converter. Well, my point was so. the whole seven product kit yeah. in two ounce, which is more than enough to do three to four complete system installs, uh, which the consumer kit is, uh, it'll last you up to two years as far as the protective ability. We put the pro versions on this car, which really has a five year warranty through me. Um, so that's pretty awesome. But the full kit's a hundred bucks is right. my point. Right. You spend a hundred dollars in every. But how many cars are you getting done with that? Yeah, well, you're like, gonna get you're yeah. gonna get three to four full system right. installs and probably two years worth of maintenance. Believe it or not. Yeah. So you've got enough product to paint correct and protect a car. Uh, you know, several cars where. You know, like you say, it's a twelve hundred dollars, and that's a hundred bucks and ships so, to you for right. free. And it's twelve hundred a car, so the, the brand. You know, well, that's the labor different. you got to think right. about it. But also, I'm using but, the pro versions with that twelve hundred bucks, and I'm offering that five year warranty. Right. So there's a lot more that you get than just the hundred dollar right. kit. But right. but I'm know, saying, still, enthusiast, he's going to save himself a lot of money if he can do it himself. And I'm telling you right now, there is with these products, there's no real reason to hire a pro to do it. Mm -hmm. And I mean that because it's not rocket science applying these right. products. They're, you, you use them, well, this is what, second, third time you did it today. Yeah. Do you feel like you put out any extra effort to do them versus any product you've ever used? No, no, no Well, no. removing the, co the coding is a little bit more advanced, but it's still not, yeah, 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 yeah. It's still not complicated. You put one no, on, you put the simple. other one on, let it's, it dry it's and not, bump it off. It, it's, the time is not long and the amount of energy is much easier than, you know, you're holding a polisher for a while. It can get heavy. You know, you got vibration, you got noise. It can be hot, you know, it depends on the temperature you're working, but that's the brutal part. Once that's done, and it, if you need to polish, your car may be in good enough condition that you don't need that, you just need the protection, then it's a quick deal. I mean, it really is. It's the, the polishing, the getting the scratches out, compounding, that's going to take the most time, I think. Oh yeah, yeah polishing that's, for sure, that's and then like, the coating. The rest like, of it is just If anybody knows anything about uh, painting, you know, whether you're painting a wall, or you're painting a car, you have prep. Oh, and that's it's that very it's, important. It's the polishing is the prep time that you put into it. When you really do a good prep job and you do it right, your results are going to be right. I mean, they're going to be good. And there's no reason why an enthusiast could do this. But um, yeah, I mean, that's that's just a few things right but there. But beyond that, if you, my, I give my cell phone, 813 846 4406. There's a plug, yeah. If, if, uh, well, I mean, that's, I stand behind my product. Yeah. I mean, not only for well, those warranties, but. Yeah. I, I will help you. I don't care who you are. Yes. If you buy my products and you have a question while you're well, doing it, before you do it, so while you're doing it, after you do it, you call me. That's it. Do, text right? me. And, send me a Facebook message. And that's no BS. I mean, that's actually how we, I mean, we communicate through email, like, you know, comments on YouTube, what have you, but I've called you about questions. And when you first get into this game, you know, you have quite, you should have questions because it's, you know, it's not a hard process, but the way you do it and you want to do it right, give Gary a call. He 
as always throughout all the years answered my questions whether you responded through email or called me back or whatever or, well, call, plus or answered you, me right away I mean, plus if you buy the full kit there's an insert in the kit that tells you the steps like it's not yeah that's, plus that's easy uh, i have my own youtube channel which is partially what we're doing right yeah, now gary dean uh, uh detail it, juice it. gary dean search that on youtube you'll find mm -hmm. all my videos um, I've got an older channel. The newer one is all detail juice oriented. But the bottom line is, I have videos on every single product yeah. that I have, like multiple. So yeah. I'll, I'll be leaving the links to Gary's uh, his website, all his, all his social media information. It will be in the description down below. So that, that's not a problem. We know where to. Describe. And I'm not the end all be all of detailing or products, but I do know that you know my experience speaks far more than any certification. Um, I've been through a lot in life and in business and you know uh, my products are an extension of everything I've ever been through it's I'm all about you're passionate about I'm what you do all sure. about saving time without compromising quality right. and so most companies just want to sell you product I want to help you achieve what you're trying to do. Right. Don't get me wrong. I'm a businessman and I like to make money. I do this to make money, and this is I don't want for one second for somebody to think, man. "Hey, he's a businessman." I don't want. I don't want ever for someone to think, "Oh, right. well, he's just blowing smoke up my ass right. because he just wants to make money." I do. I absolutely do. I support my family with it. I'm. It's your job. I mean, it's <laughs> it's what I do. I I do make money, but I'm passionate about what I do. Um, I developed these products for myself to be able to make money as a pro detailer. A little less now that the product line is doing pretty well, mm -hmm. and you know, well, you have what doing... twenty something years experience. Oh, or... I. How long have you? So you I'll, been I'll be thirty eight for... soon. Really? Yeah, been... that, that old. <laughs> wow, okay. Thirty eight. So huh? I'll be thirty eight soon. I started detailing around sixteen. I got heavily into it about twenty years ago, mm -hmm. like heavily yeah. into it. And um, it, it's always been a passion of mine. It's always been a real passion for for me to help people to make money doing it. So I, I spend a lot of time trying to show people the ins and outs of the industry and the business side, mm -hmm. trying to help them convert their hobbyist mentality where they're working yeah. for themselves and can go all day right. working for the best possible end result. But when you're doing that for a customer, you have to work for that customer. Yeah. You have to do that. You have to what focus on what that customer really sees, mm -hmm. and then do that and move to the next one. Right. That's the thing. So I, I I help people to make money doing it by turning their hobbyist mentality into more business person right. mentality. And that and that's a skill in itself. Just being a business owner for twenty years, I, I totally agree with that. But and I mean, I'll, there's I'll always this. there's always learning curves to everything. Everything. And there's a there's a, like I said earlier, it's always a little more harder than it seems, you know. I mean, it's not. I'm up. not saying it's easy work, but I am saying that everybody can do it. Right. It's it. You Especially don't if you're have, motivated. You're oh, motivated, for sure. So. And if you and if really are passionate about your you car, enjoy. yeah. And you want to do yeah. it? I mean, for me, us, we we're not taking our cars anywhere to get an oil change. <laughs> well, no way! We are, we are, I'm gonna take my I'll car. Take it to yours. I didn't know you do oil changes. I'll take it over to yours. <laughs> if but, you're new to if you're new to the All Star Channel here, I mostly do mechanical repair work on cars. So you know, but, today we're making them pretty, but. Well, and you, you do a fantastic job. Of course, I try. I like to say, I, and I like to feel like you already said. Like I try to be the best mentor I can be to get you Absolutely. the best results. Because next time, you're doing it all. Yeah, yeah, it's all on me. That, that's a long. You day. may not that's have me extra, here. I won't have beer time. I won't have time <laughs> to drink beer. But hopefully, it's going to be a while before I have to do it. Because that's a good point. Let's bring that up. So you know, the car's done and it's pretty and and it's protected for now. How about um, you know some maintenance, some future maintenance to the car? Um, in fact, we we had a question today about hey, after I get this done, what do I do to keep my you know keep this shine, keep the thing going here, keep it nice? And the steps are very simple, especially with your product. Well, it's not complicated. I'll but, tell you. But the number one thing is, I would say personally, is the way you wash your car, the mm -hmm. way you clean it, because we talked earlier about the clear coat scratching. You want to try not to touch the paint as much as possible, and if you have to, we want to lubricate. We want to keep that off. So back in 2012, I didn't create, I didn't invent anything brand new, and I don't, I don't claim to. What I did in 2012 actually was 
from 2010 to 2012 when I released the Gary Dean wash method was I put a series of steps in order, a series of steps that are safer on your vehicle as far as you're installing fewer scratches. And it's a rinseless wash method, not a waterless, which is basically right. straight spray and wipe. You don't need a hose. I mean, you just don't need a hose. Like, right, so we wash this whole car, your wheels and everything with mm -hmm. a gallon of water today. Right, that was And it. I do not believe we that I scratched it all. We did the F-150 with the same thing. Yeah. And the, the and that's uh, a behemoth with a cap a lot, on it. Yeah. Of paint. yeah, there was a lot of paint on that on that vehicle. So so yeah, absolutely. So yeah, it's, the Gary Dean wash method. You should look you it look up. That up. Uh, Google Gary Dean wash oh, method. We'll put it in the description. Sure, Google if you want. Well, you can Google we it. Can it's on it my easy. channel. We All can the make videos. it easy for the viewers. There's a ton to of stuff. Google. We don't want them to leave in Google now. Stay on the channel here. Go to the watch more videos. Yeah, that's just right. keep listening to us ramble on here. But but anyway, I. I think that's, you know, if you got anything else to add to, you know, what we talked about, or like Gary said, if you need to contact Gary with any detailing questions. It's at Gary, G-A-R-R-Y uh, dot D-E-A-N uh, dot three five uh, on Instagram. I would almost be, there you go. I would almost be, and I'll leave it in the description. I'm all star one on Instagram, by the way. But, um, you know, even if, and I'm putting it out there, you let me know if I'm right or wrong. Let's say I haven't bought your product. I'm thinking about doing this, you know. Can I still call you do, if I have a question? Abs absolutely. There you go. I'm it's all about helping you in your detailing yeah. endeavor. If you're using somebody else's product, I may or may not have used it. I've used a lot of stuff. So <clears throat> product questions, you should contact that manufacturer. Uh, if it's my product, obviously I can support that. But if it's, you know, doing the work, I can absolutely help you. Whether you've very you, and whether you buy my stuff or not, I mean, I would obviously appreciate it. I mean, the bottom line with me is my reputation is worth more to me than any money you will ever spend or any money I will ever make. Right. What I have done with my life is character. the most. You have character, man. It's you the do. most you important really thing to me, man. You have character, so that that's awesome. So that right there speaks for the man himself. So, anyhow, I, I think that about wraps it up. And, and uh, I, great, got a, great, I got a little emotional. Don't, like, don't cry. We, we're, <laughs> at, we're out of microfibers. You won't be able to. They're in the wash right now. So I want to thank you guys for stopping by the channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that red button down below. Check Gary's channel out if you get a chance. If you have any questions, you know who to call. You can always leave a comment down below. And uh, other than that, we already mentioned pretty much everything we need. Check out detailjuice.com. So, <laughs> that's it. Check it out. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Take it easy. Thanks guys for watching. Have a great day.